Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to build and automate an OS image deployment using the EC2 image builder console. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal. So from the EC2 image builder landing page, select create image pipeline. You see here, so we have to first define the recipe on the define recipe page. This a recipe specifies the activities needed to make changes to the source image. A recipe cannot be modified once it is created. So, uh, which includes your source image. We have to choose, choose the source image. The source image includes the image OS and the image to configure. After selecting the image OS, we have three options to select an image to configure. Let's say image build currently supports Amazon Linux 2 and a Windows server. So let's say I am going with Linux. It says select an image from the manage images, which includes the image builder images to help you get started. And you can select an image by entering the image ARN in the text box, or you can browse for the image. So click on browse image. This is the only image that is available. Click on choose. You've chosen the image. Or if you want to have the custom AMI ID, you can select here and type in your custom AMI ID. Now we will do the uh, build components. Components are installation packages, security hardening steps and test to be consumed by the image recipe when building your image. So after an image recipe has been created, its components cannot be modified or replaced. If we want to update the component in an image recipe, we have to create a new image. So build components are installation packages. If you want browse to select build components, you can browse. Sting build Linux high. These are the build components. Click on choose. Now we will have the test. So we can select for the AWS provided test or create custom test. These are the tests to perform on the output image built by the image pipeline that we are creating for image builder. Click on browse test. This is the test which is by Amazon. Click on choose. Now after we have entered the source image and the component, we have to click next. Now it says configure the pipeline. So in the configure pipeline, we have to define the image pipeline infrastructure and build schedule. So we'll have to enter the name test usher. We have to provide an optional description. You can keep it same. Okay. Now it says select an IAM role to associate with the instance profile or create a new role. I do not think I have an IAM role here. So if I create a new instance profile role, th this will take me to IAM window with the ec2 instance role as of now so in the build schedule if you select manual you can choose when to run the pipeline if you select schedule builder it you can set the build pipeline to run automatically using the job scheduler and if you will use the cron expression you can set the build pipeline to run using a syntax that specifies the time let's say we go with manual and then optionally Enter the infrastructure. I am not going to do that. So these are the VPC and subnets. Go next. And now under configured additional settings, associate license configuration to AMI. You can create the create the new license configuration AMI, and then you can enter a name of your output AMI AMI. You can have a key type AMI distribution settings would be US East one. It would be private. Click on review. You have this image recipe. You have this configuration details. You have these additional settings and then you have the permissions. Then you create click on create pipeline pipeline that has been created. Then you when you will will be done it will take you to the image pipelines page from here we can manage delete disable and uh, view details and run the image pipelines in the next section we'll proceed with the managing and running image using the ec2 image builder console and let's see how it goes 
please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and if you have any feedback to mention them in the comment section i'll see you in the next video thank you bye bye